Hi and welcome. Here I'm going to show you how to make a simple input prompt. And it works like this. The fields that we want the user to input something into are red. And once they input something into them, the red goes away. And it works like that for the entire form. All right, here we are on the basic clean form. There is no red before or after we input anything. And all we have to do to get the red, very, very simple. Select the cells that we want to turn red if there's nothing input into them. Go to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, Format Only Cells That Contain, Format Only Cells With, Click the drop down arrow, blanks, then format, and choose the formatting that you want to have when nothing's input into the cell. We're going to go to the fill tab. I do not like these default colors, so I'm going to go to more colors and a custom, go to a red, but make it kind of a lighter red. Hit OK. Okay, okay, and there you go. Nothing it's red, something it's not. And here I'm showing you the very easy way to do this, but as a result, it's not going to be robust. For that, you will need data validation or VBA programming. And I cover all of that in my full VBA course and input form course on teachexcel.com. I'll put links to that below this video in case you want to learn more about it. But now let's make it so that when we input something here and hit enter, it goes to the very next red cell. And what you want to do for that is to click the cells where the user is going to input something. This cell down here has a simple formula in it. Then you want to right click and go to format cells. It's just off the screen right now. Then go to the protection tab and make sure a locked is unchecked. By default, it's going to be checked. Simply uncheck it, hit OK. Then we can go to the Review tab, Protect Sheet, and make sure Select a Locked Cells is also unchecked. That'll be checked by default. So uncheck, OK. Go to the first cell. We can delete it. Nothing in there. It's red. Value, not red. And we go to the next cell. And now it's much easier to input a value into it and get it ready for saving on the next worksheet tab. And that's all there is to it. You have now made your worksheet much easier for someone to use and to understand where they must input a value. And remember, this is the very simple, easy way to do it. If you want to have more robust features, check out data, data validation. We're going to have to unprotect the worksheet to see those options right here. And I have many, many tutorials on that as well. But for this tutorial, that's all there is. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you get all of my new tutorials. And don't forget to check out teachexcel.com for all of my courses. They're going to save you hours of time when working in Microsoft Excel.